I mean, if Dick Smith is the godfather, she's definitely been like this matriarch of makeup, really. When filmmakers are creating a hundred million dollar epic blockbuster film, they need a department head that can deliver. They want someone with credentials and they want someone that has that track record for that kind of a film. Now, there's only a few people in the world that are on such a short list, and you could be assured that V. Neal is on that list. I had the privilege of working for her on two of those films, Batman Returns and Pirates of the Caribbean, and she is an amazing department head. In fact, arguably, she's the most successful department head makeup artist of our generation. If I'm not going to aspire to that, then I'm wasting my time. She really set an example of what a real, cinematic department head movie makeup artist is all about. She's paved the way for everybody. Um, she's an original. She is a classic artist, and she has done everything and con continues to um, bring more uh, creativity and and original ideas to our business, um, even throughout throughout her very long career. And um, I'm always inspired to see what she's up to. My relationship with Vinil goes back to the early 80s when we were both coming up in the industry. And to watch where she has progressed to is just awesome. It's just such a great thing, uh, seeing her skill set just continually push the limits of our craft. My favorite Vinil makeup, it's hard to narrow it down to just one, but um, I must say the makeups in um, Ed Wood were amazing for the simple reason uh, they're black and white, and, and that kind of photography sometimes can be a bit harsh with the lighting and such. And, and her Martin Landau, uh, Bela Lugosi makeup, was so flawless. I, I watched it over and over, and um, I just, uh, yeah, it was so subtle and, and yeah, brilliant character makeup, and that's the way character makeup should be. She was the real turning point that kind of made prosthetics into makeup, rather than being this thing that guys turned up with bits of rubber and made monsters. You know, V was a character makeup and opened it up. And there's a lot of makeup artists now who started in prosthetics who are now working in makeup because of the kind of standards V set and the attitude V set. I think V Neal's done one very important thing and that's that as a lady, she's managed to um, get a niche for herself in a very male-dominated prosthetic application world, as it was. Uh, she was quite a sort of a torchbearer for that. And over the years, she's just done an incredible range of high-profile characters. 